awesome. He is an absolute cracking blue spot on the plastic. So stoked with that. G'day everybody. We are back out in the shed today getting a bit of gear organized, ready for the winter flathead season. Thought it would be the perfect opportunity to run you through the gear that I like to use when chasing those beautiful Southern blue spot flathead. So firstly, the rod and reel. This is a TT Black Mamba seven foot, two to four kilo stick. Two to four kilo, seven foot is a great all rounder whether you're fishing off the beach or from the boat. It'll get the job done. Two to four kilos, a great weight for throwing the size lures that I like to use, say up to about a quarter ounce. The reel that I like to use is an Akuma ITX 1000. I've been using the ITXs for a few years now. They haven't missed a beat. Great priced reel and it really gets the job done. So the braid that I load the ITX with is the Platypus Pulse X8. So it's an eight carrier braid. It's nice and thin, cast beautifully, zero stretch, so you're gonna feel every single bite. Um, and I find that the lime green color is great for being able to see what your lure is doing in a range of different scenarios, you know, whether it's overcast, whether it's bright, whether the water's got a little bit of color, all that sort of stuff. The Platypus Pulse X8 is great. And that is the six pound stuff. So I've put together a little kit here. It's quite simple, but it's got all the bits and pieces I need to have a successful day out on the water. So inside, can't go anywhere without a good sharp pair of scissors. Most important, the leader that I like to use is the platypus fluorocarbon in 15 pound. 15 pounds a good mix between, you know, going light enough that you're going to get plenty of bites, but also it's got good abrasion resistance because flathead have very sharp teeth and they will bite you off. Some scent, so this is the Procure in mullet. I really like the mullet scent because it's nice and pungent and I think it is uh, very beneficial when you're flathead fishing. I've got a range of jig heads. I've got some snake locks in quarter ounce. Uh, that's a 3.0 hook and the chartreuse head. I've also got a range of the head locks. Uh, so I've got one quarter, one eighth and one twelfth in those. I've got some Ned heads. I've got one tenth and one sixth in orange. So that's the standard hook. I've also got when I'm fishing in a little bit like weedy water or rocky country, I've also got some of them in the weedless head, uh, weedless hook, sorry. And then some of the new uh, painted jig head headlocks, which I reckon would be awesome. There's something about orange for this type of fishing, uh, particularly flathead, that seems to get them really fired up. So I've got them in 16, 116, 112, and also 18. So a good range of weights to get the job done. All right, so these are the plastics that I'm gonna take. Very effective on the flathead is the four inch diesel minnow. So I've got those in sexy penny, new penny, and also breaking brim. Um, it's the perfect size for Southern blue spot flathead. Uh, I would catch 90% of the flathead I catch each season on a four inch diesel minnow. I haven't been flathead fishing forever, but I've spent a bit of time over the last sort of four years um, fishing the coast and getting, I'm getting better at it. And I always fall back on those four inch diesel minnows. They're just my confidence bait when it comes to fishing uh, flathead in Southern waters. ST grubs, blood oil, and then also standard grubs in blood worm. So I've got two and a half inch and three and a half inch in those. One very important bait that you need to take with you is some TRD crawls. These things catch everything. So, you know, you'll catch whiting, you'll catch flathead, you'll catch pretty much anything that swims with these TRD crawls. They've been absolutely outstanding, both in the south of Australia, also in northern Australia. These things are awesome. So I've got them in, this is Drew's Craw. I've got some bloodworm ones. Um, and yeah, you really don't need a whole selection of colors with those, just a couple, but it's something you definitely need in the kit. So the biggest game changer for me with flathead fishing has been the ability to fish weedless. Flathead absolutely love to sit in cover, so you need to be able to present that bait into that cover without it fouling up. And the way to do that is with a weedless hook. Um, and to the way you rig that is we're gonna start, we've got our plastic, we're going to start with the hook upside down and we're going to put it through just that hole in the nose of the plastic. So then our plastic's upside down like that. As you bring it forward to the lead keeper on the front of the hook, 
you can push it over the top of that lead keeper just like that and then once you've done that that'll actually give you the mark where you need to bring the hook point through the plastic about halfway up the plastic itself so we'll do that now just push it through like that it's super simple and if you get it right it's going to have that hook point down in the groove like that and it's nice and straight and that's ready to fish and the most amazing thing about uh, fishing weedless and i didn't really believe it to start with is that because the hook point's covered it's going to run through that cover seamlessly uh, run through the rocks run through the weed but then when a flathead grabs it it's actually going to compress that plastic down which then exposes the hook point and the hookup rate on these weedless plastics is very very good and that was something you know that surprised me to start with but now i would not go fishing for flathead without some weedless um, style hooks in my kit so the other weedless setup that you really need to check out, like I said before, is the weedless Ned heads with the TRD craws. And I'll show you how to rig one of those up now. So here we have our TRD craw and then our weedless Ned head. It's exactly the same process. It's just that the Ned heads look a little bit different because the lead is actually attached to the hook itself. But with our plastic the right way up, we can then have our hook upside down, putting it through that center dent on the front of the plastic. So we're looking like that now. We can bring that forward all the way over that lead keeper, which will hold the plastic in place. Just like that. And you want it so it's a nice snug fit. Now that we've done that, we get that indication of where the hook point needs to come out. Um, and you want the plastic to sit, you don't want it deformed, you want it to sit nice and um, straight. So we're gonna make sure we're right in the center because we don't have a groove with the TRD crawls, bringing it out through the top, just like that. And when you get it right, the plastic's not deformed at all. The hook point's close to the plastic so you get that weedless effect. Um, but then when the fish grabs it, it'll just push that plastic down and you'll get a really good hookup rate. And that bait is absolutely dynamite for a range of different species. So there's a bit of a rundown of the flathead kit. Hopefully you've picked up a few tips for your next flathead mission. If you haven't tried weedless before, you definitely have to give it a go. It's such a game changer. Hopefully you enjoyed the talk. I'll catch you all next time.